I am constantly reviewing the literature to see things that we can do to make ourselves um, healthier and, and to live longer. My personal goal is to live to be 132 years of age. The reason that number is that I would love to see my oldest daughter turn 100. And she came when I was uh, uh, 32 years of age, so I'm trying to push up to 132. What I did yesterday is I uh, went to the PubMed database, and for those of you that are unfamiliar with the PubMed database, the PubMed database is, quote unquote, the real literature. Uh, the PubMed database is the search engine for the National Library of Medicine of the United States of America that is physically located in Bethesda, Maryland. This database has around 20 million articles, probably just over that now. It tends to log in about another 7,000 articles per day. And looking at what, what makes us old or what makes us ill, um, the, the theory that is most prevalent in the literature is called uh, the free radical theory of aging. I also type in the words on a product that I'm going to talk about today. It's called Protandum. If you go to the PubMed database and you type in Protandum, there are eight articles that have been published so far. All of them are fun. All of them are very interesting. The one that I'm going to talk a little bit extra about is the very first one that was ever done. And it's uh, number eight here. So I'm, I, a little bit later in the presentation, I'm going to show you some specific components of that article. But if you look through all of these articles, but the very first one, which is the most recent, all the rest of these articles have a common author. And it's this guy here. His name is uh, Joe McCord. And uh, McCord's going to be a big player. I mean, this guy discovered one of maybe the most important thing in longevity. And he did it back in 1969. Yet a lot of people, including healthcare providers, uh, do not understand what it is. And so part of my assignment this day is to make sure that you know what it is. The parts that I scored, deleterious side effects of free radicals, which are normally produced in the course of cellular metabolism. Since genes would be expected to be attacked occasionally, it would be anticipated that mutations and cancer would result. A slow oxidation of connective tissue by molecular oxygen catalyzed by metals. And this is going to be important for us this day, this presentation. Looking at metals right here. Metals are important because when we get in contact with metals, we increase the production of free radicals, which means neutralizing these free radicals becomes ever so much more important. The key word in this paragraph is actually the word cysteine, which is why I, under, I scored it under, with, uh, with red there. That's because cysteine is an amino acid. And the key is, is when cysteine exists as a component of a protein, and that proteins are put together by genes, so that if you could turn on genes that produce proteins that have cysteine, you are better at neutralizing free radicals. Now, this is 1956, and remember, this is part of what I will tell you Dr. Joe McCord did. He figured out a way to upregulate these genes that are related to this and other ways to neutralize free radicals. Do all degenerative changes have a common cause? You see the number one there. This is how the book begins. Do all degenerative changes have a common cause? Well, they do. It says, if you look what I scored in red, our cells are producing destructive particles called free radicals, and that over a lifetime, these free radicals chip away at our cells. We call this process aging. Oxygen is a powerful destroyer of life. Few of us are aware that this, that, that this same life-giving oxygen is slowly killing us and making us sick. The reason is oxygen becomes a free radical as a component of just normal breathing. So when you exercise more, you breathe more. When you breathe more, you make more free radicals. And it is even more critical for people that are exercising to take these concepts seriously. We have to neutralize these free radicals if we want to avoid degenerative changes, if we want to slow down the aging process, et cetera. I'm also a very big fan of this book by Dr. David Perlmutter. Uh, he is a neurologist living in Naples, Florida. He's written a number of books on the topic. I think that he's way smart. I advocate all of his books. My favorite book, at least for my family, since I have two daughters, <clears throat> is that he, he did a book a few years ago that claims that you can raise your children's IQs 30 points by the time they go to kindergarten, if in fact you can appropriately reduce the consequences of toxins and the free radicals that they generate. In fact, Dr. Perlmutter in his book, The Better Brain Book, which came out in 2004, in this book he defines what makes a toxin toxic. What makes a toxin toxic, in chapter 8 of this book, you can see what I scored in red there, 
What makes toxins toxic is the fact that they rev up free radical production and promote inflammation. Now, you've got to get the point. <clears throat> this is the point. If we live in an environment that has lots of toxins, we get lots of free radicals. The more toxin the environment, the more free radicals we get. The more free radicals we get, the more critical it is that we neutralize them before they do damage to cellular physiology. Uh, and then you take a look at this. And this should take everyone on this webinar's breath away. Referencing time, May 24, 2010, you can see the date there in the bottom right. The, they sum up, if you look at the actual words on the, on, the, on, the, on the first paragraph, I'm going to scroll down where I blew them up a little bit, says, on May 6, the President's Cancer Panel published an alarming 240-page report on the risk of cancer from chemicals and other substances in the environment. The true burden of environmentally induced cancer has been grossly underestimated, the reports authors conclude. The American people, even before they are born, are bombarded continuously with these dangerous exposures. The point of all this is that all of these chemicals are toxins. Toxins damage the DNA. The DNA damage is then linked to cancer. Even the President's Cancer Panel is agreeing to this coming out in 2010. May 6 of 2010 is when this was in fact released. The point of it is we have so many environmental toxins now that we are getting so many free radicals that a strategy to neutralize these things before we damage our physiology is critical. It's never been more critical than this time in our history. The point of it is we're all getting toxins all day long, every day, and these toxins rev up the production of free radicals, and the result is almost all of us are suffering from chronic, uncurable, degenerative problems, that there are things that we can do to reduce the risk of these things. And we don't want to produce these free radicals, but it's going to happen because we live in a world that is full of toxins. Can we neutralize these guys before they do damage? Which I show you some of the studies, man. They're, they're, they're thrilling. The bottom lines are here. Antioxidants. Now, most everybody knows what an antioxidant is, but a lot of times there is some confusion, and that confusion is actually the main theme of this webinar. Exogenous antioxidants are antioxidants that almost everybody knows about. Superoxide dismutase, catalase, and glutathione peroxidase are made by the DNA, which is inside the cell membrane. So these are the ones that protect the cell from the inside, and so they're critically important in human physiology. Now, I have personally been taking ProTandem for about five years, and I was getting it over the counter at GNC Nutrition. It has since then gone into a different marketing strategy, but this product has been out for some time, and because I'm a lit searcher with the, with the desire to live to be 132 years of age, I started this product about five years ago. Because so many of these toxins are neurotoxins, and we pride ourselves on doctors, that treat the nervous system, this is critically important for us as clinical chiropractors. Toxins magnify the productions of free radicals. I mean, this is the work of Perlmutter. It says, our people are living in silent inflammation. Our average omega-6, omega-3 ratio is about 25 to 1. It should be less than 4 to 1. Inflammation also drives the production of free radicals. Free radicals are the ultimate cause of aging and degeneration. This is a winning strategy. Balance your omega-6 and omega-3. Upregulate your own genetic endogenous antioxidant array. The protocol that has more research behind it than anything else, it's taking this product called ProTandem. So as far as I can tell, all of us should be doing all of these every day, and a lot of us are, but we have missed this upregulation of the endogenous antioxidant array on a daily basis through taking a really simple combination of five medicinal plants that they put together called ProTandem. I have personally met with the operating officers of this company. I have digested all of the published studies on the topic. I have reviewed all of the projects that are in progress that will hit the PubMed database in the next year or so. There's actually 19 product projects that are in, in progress right now. I have personally talked to Dr. Joe McCord, the guy that discovered superoxide dismutase. I had an opportunity to ask him anything I want, and I asked him everything I could think of. Remember, again, he's the guy that discovered superoxide dismutase in 1969. In fact, interestingly, when they measure superoxide dismutase, they measure it in McCord units as a consequence of the man that um, discovered it. 